Hey, what's up guys? Thomas Alex Norman here. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over the top three mistakes that I see most commonly throughout all of my clients and what's really holding you guys back from making stuff that actually really stands out and really inspires people. Because a lot of you are almost there. Seriously, it's just little things that you need to adjust that we're gonna crack into in this video. And just quickly, before we get into the tips, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you want me to make more kind of tips, more videos like this. Mistake number one, shots without a purpose, and this kind of links into this as another bonus tip, shots that are shaky. So what do I mean by shots without a purpose? So many people when they're traveling around will just get out their camera or their phone or whatever they're filming on and kind of point it at the sea or whatever they're looking at and kind of go around a little bit, wave it around and then kind of film the floor and then turn it off. So that's a shot without a purpose. You know, what is that shot really adding to your travel video apart from look where we went, right? You need to start thinking a little bit more about your shots and about what purpose they'll serve in the end video. So for example, one shot I might get if I do see the sea and the beach is, right, this shot is gonna be about showing the sea and the beach, but it's not just gonna be some kind of one second shaky clip that I can't use. I'm gonna make this in my mind, right, this is the part where we go to the beach and I wanna show this in my video. So I'm gonna go towards the beach, maybe move forward in the shot, get a nice steady kind of moving forward shot to kind of draw people in, bring them into the shot, and that's gonna be my beach shot. Then next, I'm gonna, I wanna capture us walking back from the beach because I know we're going to this restaurant later. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is film my feet walking on these nice Italian cobblestones or wherever the hell you are. And then I'm gonna kind of film it, um, film maybe my shadow going up against the wall of a, of a nice cafe shop before we get to the restaurant. So you're kind of building the picture and you're almost thinking about your travel video as if it's an actual film. And this is gonna make everything in the video look so much cooler. So if you, when you start thinking about it that way, kind of when the, with the edit in your mind um, and making purposeful shots that aren't shaky, it's such an such a important thing, is that when people don't think about their shots, they just end up kind of not really trying to keep the camera stable um, and it kind of is a bit all over the place. So mistake number one, shots without a purpose. Mistake number two, not enough people. This applies to both travel videos and photos actually. Is that yeah, the, the places you go are amazing. It's all about the places. It's all about um, you kind of exploring different scenery, atmosphere, locations, cultures, whatever. But it's actually the people on your journey, including yourself, that you and everyone else is interested in. It's the people in the video and what they're doing in that place. So what you wanna do in your travel video is just make over 50%, 60, 70%, the more the better to be honest, about the people in the video. Not only if you're making this video for your own memories, not only is this going to, um, you're gonna be so much more interested in what you were like back then and the, and the people are like back then, but also for everyone else, humans are attracted to other humans. We wanna see what you guys are doing in that place. We wanna see the kind of vibe it is, the kind of um, enjoyment, laughs, emotions that the people in the video are going through. So mistake number two is just not filming people enough and you don't turn the camera in on yourself and you don't film your friends. This is something that you shouldn't be shy about and it's something that you should um, kind of set as an expectation before you even go on your trip. Just, just say to your mates, hey look, by the way, I'm gonna be filming this. I uh, hope you don't mind me pointing the camera at you occasionally um, or whatever, just something like that. Um, when you do that, it makes it so much more comfortable for them uh, and even better, like they'll start kind of, you get certain people who love being on camera, they'll start playing up to it and you can have some fun. So mistake number two is you don't film people enough. Mistake number three, you don't have a plan. This relates back to mistake number one in that you need to kind of go out with some sort of plan or vision in your mind about what you want to create. It doesn't mean that you have to plan a storyboard or write a script or whatever. Um, you just need to have an idea about what you want to create because then when you're out there, you're at, your shots are all going to have a purpose behind them. You're going to filter them through this vision that you have of the video and it's going to make your video 10 times better. Maybe you just want to make a, a short narrative of your, your, your trip. So you've got to think, okay, what are we going to be doing first? And how is that going to tie into the next place? How am I going to transition from that to that? And just start kind of visualizing what it's going to look like 
And trust me, if you do this exercise just for 10 minutes or something before you leave on your trip, it's gonna make your video so much better. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. As always, keep filming. And if you wanna know the gear that you should use to make your travel videos and the ultimate gear list that I use, um, starting from actually $15 um, is the cheapest stuff you can get to make travel videos that I highly recommend. Click in the link below and you'll find it there. You can get it absolutely free. Anyway, until next time, keep filming. Cheers.